Hi guys, I'm Gwendolyn. Welcome back to my recap slash rewatch slash reaction to Sister Wives season 17 episode 10. So Christine's got the five of us gathered together. Okay, so it looks like it is a part two. And she has just told us that she's moving in a week. Welcome to part two, you guys. I just got to thinking, it's not a relationship I would wish on any friend of mine. Valid. But you said you didn't want to be married to me anymore when we were talking about moving to Utah. My interpretation of the conversation was at the end of the conversation, I thought that you might be on team we can move. I wonder why we're still here. Oh, I thought they were talking about the conversation in season 17. I was like, I don't remember this part. I realized it was not. My kids love it here. This is the most likely place for any of our kids to move back. Oh, she looks so sad and defeated. Mary, I can't do marriage with Cody anymore. I don't want to, I don't want to do it anymore. So earlier he said that she never talked about like wanting to be or wanting to move and not wanting to be with him. But here, seeing that like backwards reverse in time scene, it seems like clearly she, that he knows that she wanted to leave. So that was very nice and clarifying. That's just what it felt like. He was giddy when we talked about moving to you. No, this is what I remember. I was interested in the family, not in the man. But it became about the man and not about the family. That is so totally random. Oh my, what? We've invested and it wasn't about the family. It was about the man. He did, she didn't make it about the family. She's now divorcing the man that she said she wasn't even there for in the first place. The family is still there. He's completely false in this situation because she's not making it about the man at all. She is still part of the family and still investing. Because now we're at this point where it's just over and it's done. With the man, over with the man. I thank you for helping me sort of gather up this mess that I was in. Excuse me? It stings when he says that. This mess. You know, when Janelle came into the family, I was jealous. He did not just call it a mess. Because it was never going to work if it all had to be about me, as you had always indicated it wasn't. I think that's a low blow. I think she was about the family. She's been about the family. She's been about the kids. Absolutely. You know, I think there's a point where you stick around and you try to make it work. And then there's a point where it just doesn't work anymore. She stayed for the family. That's the reason she didn't leave them initially. Because you wanted to make her family happy. But now she's really, she doesn't need to do that to make the family happy. People go through, like, get close to divorce and then change their mind all the time. True. Didn't happen. But she's so valid for that. In my head, technically, she's not. Mm -hmm. Maybe they, they can talk this out. I wonder if she still feels that way. So. Don't word it. Just think about what uh -huh. I said. No. Um, Soak in that. I don't know who this patriarchal guy is. He said, don't talk back to me. But I made it about the family. I did so much for the family. She did. <laughs> I love that. The big family is great. But when you feel like you're a minimal person in Cody's big picture, it changes the perspective on everything. And the thing is, it hasn't even been like that for so long like that was all in vegas just tired no big picture just you you don't think i stayed for the big picture as long as i did i guess i don't know i think i think i'm angry because when you get divorced you're supposed to be i have no idea what's going on with me it feels like after all i have done i'm being rejected anyway and it's just not rejection for me it's rejection for some of my kids and my other wives i get that i mean they, a lot of people probably feel like they're being rejected but that's not her intention. But like also, I don't really feel like it's anybody's intention when they're like getting in a breakup and they're like, I want to leave you. They're, the intention isn't usually cruelty and he's allowed to be hurt. And he is being very like mature about it. So I appreciate him being like, okay, I understand and I accept these things a little bit more or less. So I'm curious, in all of this, it seems like my relationship with the adult kids is really off too. Period. I agree. Have you been talking to the adult kids about this? No. He did not just accuse her. Because of COVID, not because of me. It's not because of COVID. Bull. It's Christine telling them. She's playing a game. She's been playing games for years. We all know that's not true. <laughs> I've said this before. It was not her. It was us. I cannot figure out why I'm so angry. I finally realized it's a, it's a grieving process for him. Mm -hmm. In our marriage, I was putting so much effort. I was holding her hand. I was kissing her. Well, I wasn't in love. I was doing it as my duty as a husband. Why would you do it if you weren't in love? <sighs> you should have forced relationship that you're not enjoying. It's not the breakup of two people. It's the breakup of a family. That's not true. I hate when they say that so much. 
because we are still a family. I mean, you have a look on your face like you know the whole world, but you're not going to say something. Like they, what? What do you think I have to say? Tone in her voice says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> no, I really don't know what you're talking about. She just started attacking. I know Mary's tics, and I recognize it after all these years. It drives me nuts normally, but now I'm like looking forward to sort of be supportive. Okay, never mind. So his intention was to be supportive. I guess. To me, it felt like he was attacking her, but it seems like that's not what's happening. I'm the only one saying something, and I am just a mixed ball of emotions. Gotcha. You're not the only one that's saying something. Janelle's been saying things, and so is Robin. I'm struggling today, so I'll do better another day. It's a strange world to be going through a divorce while you're married to somebody who's loyal and loving. That's true. That must feel so weird. She, with me, is being rejected. There's still a potential relationship there. There, there always has been. And I think she's just trying to be a supportive wife. I don't mean to push you away. I'm just frustrated. You're not pushing me away. I know you're frustrated and I know you're angry. She's valid to feel like she's being pushed away, especially since she must be siding herself with Cody. Hmm. My emotions. At the same time, she could try to still maintain a relationship. But then again, it goes both ways. And she's getting out of the, uh, the lobster bucket. What the hell does that mean? I'm in this really hard lifestyle, and it has been very, very hard, partly because of her. And she's just leaving now. Yeah, I mean, it's not that she's leaving. It's that she realizes that there's a situation and it's not really great, and she's getting out of it. And maybe you should too, it seems like. If, you seem, if he's blaming her for these issues, and he's like, partly because of her, it seems that he should you know, in that way, be agreeing that the relationship should be over. So, okay, I guess I have a question. Do we just need to, like, give you your space? I have questions. I need space. Okay. For right now. But I do see us getting together for family reunions. Her divorcing doesn't mean that it's over is a thing. Like I say this all the time. As yeah. far as the relationships with the other adults, I think Janelle and I are super close, but I'm not that close with the rest of you. And for right now... I kind of need it that way. Valid. She's going through an emotionally tough time. If I was, like, having a panic attack, I wouldn't want, like, my enemy to comfort me. It's kind of that last little bit of hope sort of dying. The thing is, when you don't work on a relationship, it's kind of your fault, partially your fault when it's over. My immediate thought was, well, I may as well stand up and leave. And I have seen her non-acceptance of Robin and her disdain for me i'm not it's, trying to end it that way though no, to me it's not listen, an end it's kind of like this time. isn't this isn't like a no listen let her finish her thought it's not a trap i didn't think question. so i didn't think so she's treated you like dirt from the very beginning that's, that's the relationship you have with her and that's the reason i'm angry that's the reason i'm pissed off you never tried to have really good relationship with these other people that's not true. And it's yes, just I did. vomiting out of me. Vomiting. You wanted to re renegotiate a relationship with me, but you wouldn't even have a decent one with them. It's not about them. Man, just the knife in the kidneys over all these years. And the sacrifices that I made to love you. Wasted. Years of academy training wasted. Take him seriously, please. Wasted! <laughs> and you are running away rather than being accountable. Instead of actually making the relationships work. And trying. She was. She was trying for years. You don't realize that. If you're not trying to be your best self in this relationship or in this family, then you are wasting your time. That's the point. She's leaving. She's divorcing. That's the point. You agree. Plural marriage is a higher call. Higher call? What the hell just happened? Okay, look, I never tried to treat anybody like crap. But you did. So did you. And now we're sitting here with a broken family over it. It's not broken. And you're like the freaking Pied Piper. You're trying to take the kids. No, that's with not you. even. Okay. The kids worked on his side in the first place. I could sit okay. here and dissect everything that Cody has said, but we've done yes. this for years. I'm tired. It doesn't matter. Okay. It's over. Yeah, it's just too much work. He clearly agrees that the relationship needs to be over. He said, you are walking out of this family. While, meanwhile, walking out. 
I just feel like for the past 14 years, I've just been sucking it up with her, you know, just trying to be a loving husband. Meanwhile, he writes in his book that he thinks she's a pig. Oh, yeah. Total loving husband. She did this. I don't care if that's not fair. That's how I feel. She's going to go around telling my kids that I didn't love her. She needs to realize here that she wasn't loving me. That's why she left you. See, that's why. That's why the relationship's over. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Even though he tried to dilute it a little bit. Dilute? It seemed very pointed to one relationship. I was diluting. Janelle has a great deal of sympathy for Christine during this divorce. He really looked over. He said, is the camera watching? Are they, are they getting this? I'm upset. That response from Cody was real, and he said some things he probably has been holding in for a long time. I'm glad he said it. He was probably, like, marinating on those responses in the shower. Like, ooh, what should I say to her next time we talk? I wish I'd have said this last time. He's probably practicing that. Sorry to see you go. Not gonna lie, people have been saying to me that I'm gonna dislike Robin after this. And, like, I don't, like, particularly love her, but I don't see her as any worse. Like, she's, she has a valid point of view and about valid thoughts and valid concerns. And what she's talking about is completely understandable. And she's okay. And it's okay to be frustrated. I feel like there's been some things said against me behind my back. So do I want to be friends with someone who complains about me behind my back? Oh, that part. Well, not right now. <laughs> I think this is one of the saddest conversations I've ever been in. I don't regret leaving, though. And the best part is she hosted the conversation. <laughs> Did they, like, run out of content? Like, we get that she's crying. A long, excessive scene. Like, she's allowed to cry for that long, but, like, they were excessive with what, sharing it. I guess this became the ultimate awareness for me where I finally had to admit she's leaving, and I had a meltdown. But I'm trying to put that to the side go on with my other relationships as best I can. So we can't get electric for an empty lot. It's a little bit intimidating to think about staying over the winter. When we get our RV, we're going to put solar panels on the top. So we won't even need electricity, period. Because I believe so much in staying out here and bringing this house to fruition. So I've been at the trailer two months. It's mid-August. I have two more months before the permit runs out. In our county, we only can stay on our own property for four months a year in a trailer. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Some people can't even afford to have like an actual home home and they need to live in trailers. They're like, well, actually, you can't do that. Like, housing is already a problem here. Let's not force people to struggle. So I could be done by next school year if we get, if everything stays on track. Damn, that sucks. But they haven't done it. There is so many moving parts to this, and she keeps trying to move forward without coming back to the one main thing. We have to pay off the property. Do they really have to pay off the property? We do not have the means to pay off the property. Therefore, we cannot. I feel like that makes no sense. Like, to me, like, you can still, like, do stuff with the property before paying it off. Like, last time, I think I said, like, you can have, you can be, like, renovating your house while still having a mortgage. Like, I understand why they think that that's so necessary. Unless I'm wrong, which is totally valid, but I think I'm right. Look, Cody has never really been engaged in my housing since yeah. we moved here. But you know what? He has a house that he lives in yeah. up on the hill with Robin, and it's really nice. Yeah. And I have nothing, so I'm trying hard to build myself something here. They should just be grateful that she's not complaining to his face. Because he deserves about a couple of exclamation points of face complaining. And that made sense. I have gotten myself in a very stupid position as far as an independent woman. If I were to leave or want to leave right now, mm -hmm. I would have no estate. I have nothing to leave to my kids. Which is insane because that is a huge problem with polygamy is that the women have like nothing to themselves. Honestly, I gave half the proceeds from my house in Vegas to Robin to help purchase this house that she's in currently. Mm -hmm. We have a family account, and the same amount of money is in it as when we bought Robin's house. And I'm like, we did for Robin. We did for Christine. Why can it not be my turn? Good point. And in order for her to start building on this land, we have to pay it off. I doubt that. Strongly doubt that. That sounds like just another excuse. I needed a place where I could actually nurture a relationship with Janelle and Savannah. And it's too late. Yeah, it's too late because 
you didn't nurture it in the first place. So things are really, really difficult right now with a family. But Cody and I still have little kids that are going back to school. And, you know, I want to have them feel special. Oh, my goodness. Fun, fun. School. Fun, fun. School. Ari's first day of <gasps> kindergarten. Solomon was in third grade last year, and he was online the whole entire year. Hi, Ariella. Hi. 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 Oh, Hi. Hi. How was it? Yeah. We did get a report from Ariella's teacher that there was a girl that was there that was shy and sad, and that Ari was very helpful as she tried to hold her hand. It's my sister. Ari's very gregarious, very brave. She's a little girl that I'm actually very proud of. I know that I should be happy for them, but seeing him make it, like, feel like an active father with these kids really hurts. Oh, it sucks to not be able to see them. Hurry, open it, Pop. So Cody, especially when they were little, was such a good dad. I love so much. They recorded their lives together. Lunch, well, you ate, ate everything but the apple. Almost all of it. Yeah, that's how much. Good apple. job. High five. Did you have a great day at school? Yes, I did. Did you have a great day at school? Yes. Brianna, did you have a great day at school? I had a great day. She's, She's going to graduate time. this year. Woo, woo. Come on inside. And cut. Wow. <laughs> It's terrible that I'm making this about myself, but it hurts so much to see him be a good father to others when I, like, didn't really get that much. And I know I'd be happy for them, and I am. I'm so happy they have a good father, or from what it looks like to be a good father and an active father. I just didn't get that, and I don't remember that. And I don't remember coming home from kindergarten or anything and seeing my dad and him being happy that I ate all my lunch or that I made a friend at school it was always my mom. And that's great. I'm so happy I had her, but it was never my dad. And it sucks that he was not there so much, but I'm happy for them. I'm really happy they get that and they deserve that. And they are sweet, wonderful siblings who deserve the most loving, kindest father in the whole world. And they will always deserve that. And I'm just glad that they can have that, even when I can't. Um, the second part of the conversation with the adults about my mom leaving and, like, going to Utah was so weird and, like, intense and a lot. And my, my dad kept saying things about, like, you never tried to make this a family. You, you were speaking dirt on her name. And all you cared about was me. What? Uh, from what, from my perspective, from most of our perspective, 100%, she was there for the family and she was trying and she was like making a good relationship with the other moms as well. And you'll see, like they've shown clips even in this episode. And I think last episode, maybe that's where the clips are actually, but like she is playing with the other moms and stuff. And you will, you can definitely see that she's an active mother and an active sister wife and an active part of the family. And where he says that she made it a problem with the family and started focusing on him, that's not true. She was focusing on the family. The reason she stayed with him was because she wanted to be with the family and she didn't want to like separate as they're saying. And he's complaining about how it's him, but I think he's just making about it about himself and just so ridiculous. And oh my God, the way he like speaks about Mary, he just totally seems to cast her aside every single time I see him talk about her. And I hate that so much. He just is not made for polygamy and maybe none of them were, except for Robin. Maybe. I should have no idea. I think maybe polygamy wasn't a thing for this family. But at the same time, while it wasn't made for them, it sort of was. Because look at where we all are now. Part of me is like, this was meant to be. But the other part is like, now that it's done, maybe we should all like separate. Adults separate, I mean. And like stop being married to each other. Because that doesn't seem to be going so hot for relationships. All right, now after that intense recap, I'm going to go over the most popular questions for season 17, episode 10. So Den Brown, which is my last name too, we're probably related somehow, maybe probably not. While watching your dad's outburst towards your mom, would you say that he is still nicer on camera? Are we starting to see the true side of him? I think so. We are definitely starting to see the true side of him because he has yelled at me like this before. This might be new, like as of this decade or something, but this is how he is now. Jessica TC says in this episode when Janelle says something about the kids being a unit, your dad then says all the kids don't get along. Has that two kids and says only a couple of Janelle's and your mom's kids get along. Is that true? Or do you feel that like most of you guys are close to the most part? 
we are. I feel like the majority of us are definitely close. Some of us are closer than others just because we like talk more or something, but that was incorrect. And we are close to each other. Amanda Meganson says, I give your mom a lot of credit for not shutting him down. I know. Like the whole time I was like yelling back at him. Like, as you saw, like I can't even do that. How does she keep her composure? Such a good question. Uh, probably therapy and several years of practice dealing with a man that yells at you. Ella Westergaard says, why do you think Mary sticks around? Do you have any insight? It seems like Cody has made it clear he's not interested. I don't particularly have insight but i think mary is just helpful or she was just helpful i'm pretty sure they've um separated now which is so good for her and then we have a bonus unrelated question from tara harrison just because i thought it was like so cute do you have any memories of really good times or when you felt particularly close to your dad you're doing an amazing job with these recaps by the way thank you so much tara harrison i love your little pride flag so i definitely feel like looking back on it my mom and janelle were like the more parental figures and um I, I mentioned this earlier um he used to take us out for ice cream whenever we got sick and one time for my birthday we couldn't really afford like the most insane birthday gifts and this is gonna sound so stupid but we were like shopping for something or another and i saw this like squishy ball and i was like i want that for my birthday and i remember that and i remember him being like okay you can have this for your birthday don't tell anybody or something like that and you can have it now and pretend like it's your birthday gift but this is like an early one and also for like take your kid to work day or something, he took me and I got to see what he did. I'm pretty sure it was like something to do with billboards or something like that. So I think those are some pretty cute memories. And that is all for season 17, episode 10 of Sister Wives. I'm very glad I got to watch this with all of you and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you like this. Uh, please subscribe if you enjoyed it. Like it as well. That would be great to support the content. Comment down below how this made you feel, any frustrations you have about it. If you're interested in exclusive content or talking to me, as well as early access, you can go to my Patreon, which will be in the description down below. And I will see you all next time. Thank you so much. Mwah.